Good afternoon, fourth grade online. I'm sorry, good afternoon, fifth grade online learners. Welcome to science class with Mr. Monzo on March 2nd, 2021. Uh, fifth grade, sorry this is getting a little bit late, uh, but we did not have a chance to make a video earlier today. And yesterday I was out sick with a bad toothache. Uh, the good news is I'm getting it fixed next week. Um, the bad news is I gotta wait till next week. So um, just let me do a summary of what we did in class today. Um, and I'm just gonna flip over a screen so it might take a minute before I find it. If you can just bear with me fifth grade and we'll do a quick summary of what went on today. Uh, hopefully you guys are all doing well at home and it looks like the weather is turning around. It also looks like, um, looks like possibly uh, the curve on the uh, COVID virus is going down, which is good. So maybe life as we know it will return to normal very soon. Uh, maybe probably next school year. Uh, but we're, we're hopeful for good weather and good news on the COVID front. Okay, fifth grade online learners, this week we're learning about thermal energy. This is actually our 26th week of school. Uh, if you're not counting like the half, half weeks like around Christmas. But thermal energy, um, we talk about measuring things on the Fahrenheit scale. And the scale is used to measure temperature where water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees. That's what we use in the United States. Um, other countries use the Celsius scale. On the Celsius scale, uh, that's used to measure temperature in wa which water freezes at zero degrees and boils at 100. So they use the Celsius scale similar to the metric system because it's easier to remember zero and 100 rather than 32 degrees to freeze and 212 to boil. That's what we use. And, you know, unless you're familiar with those numbers, you, you might think, is it 211? No, 211 degrees, nothing significant happens. At 212, you could power a, a locomotive. So that's significant. That's when water boils. Thermal energy is the total kinetic energy of the particles that make up a material. Specific heat capacity is the amount of thermal energy it takes to raise the temperature of one gram of a given material by one degree Celsius of that material. Temperature is the average kinetic energy of particles that make up a material. Heat is the movement of thermal energy from warmer regions of matter to cooler regions. So if you heat up a room, you heat up the objects in the room and then those objects overall heat up the room itself. Thermometer is marked with temperature scales that are divided into units called degrees. Some of the key concepts we're going to be learning about this week, the flow of energy from warmer to cooler areas is called war warmer to cooler areas. It's called thermal energy. Particles in hot liquids have more thermal energy than particles in cold liquids. Thermal energy moves from warmer to cooler areas and will heat up that region, like our classroom. The desks heat up, the carpet heats up, the walls heat up, the whole room heats up. Also, when you put more bodies in this room, that heats the room up too. So the maintenance guys actually told me throughout the day they turn down the heater because we are heating the room with our bodies, which makes for a very cold day when you guys, the students aren't in class. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The term thermal energy is used three times on this quiz, twice, um, well, at least three times. Let me confirm that before, I might have cut that down to two times. I will let you know before Friday, but you're gonna probably see thermal energy more than once. Uh, that, that key concept is referring to the old fashioned quiz and I still gotta make the new quiz yet uh, for Google Classroom. Okay, let me just flip back a screen. Looks like I've been recording the whole time, which is a bonus. So um, fifth grade online learners, sorry you didn't get to see your classmates today. They were a little bit wound up. So uh, I bypassed them and decided to make the video at the end of the day. Just keep doing your uh, study guides, you know, studying your study guide, doing your three journal entries. And on those journal entries, make sure you're t trying to teach us something that maybe we didn't know. Uh, some people are making really general journal entries where they say, heat is warm, I like warm, let's stay warm. That, that's not teaching us anything. From the website, give me three things that you found interesting that maybe somebody else didn't know. 
or five things. Three to five sentences. Okay, fifth grade, uh, we will see you tomorrow, and hopefully my tooth is feeling better because it is hurting today. Bye-bye.